Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to do the I Heart Spring Tag, and I was tagged by Leanne Says, and I actually really like this tag because I still get to talk about beauty stuff that I like. A lot of you guys will have either commented, like, can you share some of your favorite spring colors, um, lip colors, nail colors, clothes, so this kind of gives you guys an overview. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First question is, favorite spring nail polish? Okay. Uh, number one is without a question. It's Essie's Bikini Sotini. I don't know what I did with the nail polish bottle. It's somewhere. And it is like a baby blue, um, very, I, I Instagrammed it. There's a picture there, but it is beautiful in person. And I really like baby blue. Like if you guys have watched me for a long time, you know, I like cornflower blue and baby blue and royal blue. I just think blues are very universally flattering. And then I didn't even like this color that much because you know how I, I also like like purples, like light purples and light pinks until I put it on. And it is my number one most liked picture on Instagram. Like you guys died over this color as much as I did. It's Essie's Underwear. Wear being the homonym, W-H-E-R-E, -E, not the panties, but this is what it looks like. Here I have it here. And I love this. I'll insert the picture from my Instagram here so you guys can see how it looks like on my nail. That's amazing. It's like, I love it. If you like purples, you need this. And I have a lot of purples and I would still say you need this. What is your must have lip color this spring? It's one I tried to recreate here and it is kind of like the hot pink, that vibrant pink with purple undertones. Um, what I'm wearing here, kind of the star of this lip color is Wet n' Wild's 907C. A lot of people, uh, I posted a picture where I asked you guys what Jessica Alba and um, I can't remember the other girl's name, what they were wearing. A lot of you guys recommended Max um, Candy Yum Yum. And then there was a lot of, oh, Pink Niveau. And I have to go and I have to swatch them, but I kind of shopped my own stash to, to do this. And what I have on here is Prestige Silk Lip Liner, this, and then Victoria's Secret Smooth Kiss Glossy Lip Butter in All Mine on top of it. And this is actually really, uh, it's, let me show you. It's not opaque at all. Do you see that? So I love this lip color. That's probably my must have. The other one, and this one is for me, foolproof for work. Like literally slap it on, walk out the door, cater, carry it around with you and reapply as needed. It's mm, Revlon's Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. So I just swiped it there three times just for reference. And you can swipe it more if you want it darker or swipe it less if you want it a little more sheer. The other one that I forgot to scoop out of uh, my collection is Maybelline's Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. That I wore and I swear to you, I did nothing different with my makeup. My hair was actually up and not done. It was like third day hair and I was wearing the most boring outfit a person could possibly wear to work. And people were like, you look so pretty today. And I swear the only thing that was different was what was I, what what, <laughs> what I was wearing on my lips, which was Maybelline's Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. Uh, show us your favorite spring dress. This one is actually one that I wore to my birthday last year. It's so spring appropriate. Um, my older brother's graduation is coming up next month and this is totally what I'm wearing. I'm either going to pair it so it's flowy, but um, I wanna, I've seen at H&M like hot, like not hot purple, like neon purple belt. So I either wanna do like yellow and teals or yellow and like neon purples. That's my favorite spring dress. I love it. Oh, it's from ASOS. So I don't know that it's gonna be available anymore because I did buy it last summer for my birthday, but I'm sure you can find something very similar. It's pretty basic, ruffled neck, easy stuff. What's my favorite flower? The cornflower. That's my favorite color. That's my favorite flower. I actually also really, really like roses. I just, I don't know, I just do. And I like roses, red roses are beautiful, but I also like colored ones. And I also like the artificially colored blue roses. I know I've looked it up and I've seen a couple different things, but I don't mind that if it's like fake and dyed like me. No, that's awful. Uh, but I like, I think roses look really beautiful in blue. Favorite spring scarf or accessory? Uh, it's too hot to wear scarves in Florida, which I wish wasn't the case because I always see the cutest ones and I'm just like, what? Like, I am I trying to suffocate myself? I can't own that in this state. So, th without a questionable doubt, my favorite accessories, and I'm actually wearing them right now, 
are these earrings by Posh Patina. So I've talked about these earrings before and I've also worn them in a lot of my videos. I wore the baby blue ones in the last video, but um, let me take them off and show you guys up close. They look shabby chic, okay? If you didn't think shabby chic could be done in earrings this well, it can. These are the earrings. They look a little bit worn because they're supposed to look like that. They're not supposed to be opaquely covered. They are uh, from Etsy and I have amassed quite a collection. And these I love. A friend of mine went to Key West and I just gave her a whole bunch of these to borrow. Okay, how cute are these? Again, tarnished because they're supposed to look worn. So she doesn't, when she makes them, she doesn't make them so they're supposed to look perfect. I don't even know if you can tell that they're not completely covered. Like the metal is supposed to show through, so it does. It's not gonna focus. Kate, Kate is the one who owns Posh Patina. She was kind enough. I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I have. I bought these filigree ones, and then I wrote her and I said, Kate, I'm obsessed with baby blue. Can I have the same exact thing except for baby blue? And she did, she did them for me. And I absolutely love her for that. These are another one of mine that I love. These are a little bit of a heavier metal. They're not quite as light. And that's the other thing, they're very light. So they're very Key West. I love them, obviously wearing them. What spring trends are you most excited about this year? Um, so definitely this lip color combination, these, anything in this range. In fact, if you have something that you wanna share, show me, tell me, um, send me links. And then as far as fashion goes, I haven't yet adopted this, but colored denim. And I know it's not new because I saw it a lot last year and even the year before that, but I would like baby blue denim and I want royal blue. Uh, I know mint was really like, mint was a hot color and a lot of people have mint denim. I guess it just, if I find the jeans, I say jeans, but if I find the pants that fit right, I'll buy them in as many colors as I like. But that's kind of the problem is they have to fit right. Cause you know, when you have a, a pair of jeans, it doesn't matter if they're like freaking spectacular. If they don't fit right, they don't fit right. So uh, that's what I'm excited about. My favorite spring candle, this is probably spring, summer. You guys have to remember I live in Florida and there's really no differentiation for me. By and far, the Island Mar Margarita oh, from Bath and Body Works. I have another one, I have a backup of this. When I went to go buy the last ones from last summer, they didn't have any more of the big ones left. But this I love and I love it in the plugins and I love it in the oil. I love it in everything. Last year I told you guys about Peach Bellini. There is one that I like more than Peach Bellini now and it's called Market Peach. Oh, it just smells so good. And I also have another large backup of this one. So, and then I would say Peach Bellini is probably third place. My favorite body spray perfumer, perfume for spring. Still, I love Hermes. I love Hermes. I'm almost, what, three quarters of the way. Uh, this I still wore, I wore it on a date two nights ago. And I literally got in the guy's car and he was like, what is that smell? Like, I need to know what that smell is. Last weekend I wore it and I remember walking into somebody's house and I went to go sit down and one of the guys that was in the group turned around and looked right at me and he's like, what's that smell? Like, identify it right now. That's the kind of perfume that this is and I don't care if it is invokes like the warmth, I still wear it year round. Again, I don't really have a winter here in Florida. So even when I wear it in December, it's like I'm wearing it in the summer. I just love it and I love when people get attached to it. Like, or it, it, it makes people like ask a question and it's happened now two weekends in a row. So I really like it. The other one that I really like is Givenchy's Hot Couture, which smells like burnt cotton candy. Like literally, if you try it, like try it in the store, it, it's sweet, but without being like too girly and young. And um, yeah, it smells like sexiness in Coney Island is what it smells like pretty much. But that's a really good one. If I want to go really soft, I mentioned these in my favorites video, the Amber Blends. Uh, this is These are really, really delicate, still potent enough that you smell great, but without being uh, overpowering because they are oil. So these are awesome. What is spring like where you live? I've kind of touched on this a couple of times already, but it is like summer and fall is like summer and winter is like summer and summer is a bitch. So it's hot, it's hot year round. 
every once in a while we get a cold day, but a cold day for us is something in the 60s. So a lot of you are probably like, oh my God, that's like summer to you. But yeah, it's hot. Am I a spring cleaner? No, I don't clean any of the seasons. I'm a non-cleaner year round. So I'm not a spring cleaner. I clean, like spring cleaning is like deep cleaning. I deep clean when I have to. Right now I'm doing it because I'm trying to rearrange and organize all crap makeup and do the setup and whatever, which today I'm recording with all natural light, which I feel like it's coming out just a little bit dark, but you don't really need to see anything and I'm losing light. So I have to go quickly. Uh, last question. Luckily, any plans for spring break or an upcoming vacation? My girlfriends took a girl's trip to Key West that I missed because it was, it was, the weekend or two weekends after I got back from New York and I was like still recovering and I had to do videos. And that is like the biggest mistake of my life. So I am trying to get them to go again to Key West. So we're gonna go either in June, July or August, which is not spring and all, that would be summer, but whatever. That's my next trip to go back to Key West. And it's like, they stayed right on the water and had an amazing time. And I'm just like, la la la, I don't wanna hear about it because I wanna go back. So. That's my I Heart Spring stuff. If you guys have any questions about anything that I mentioned, you guys let me know. Um, for me, here are two things that I actually wanna know about you guys. I love how I say two things and one finger goes down because I can count. Uh, number one, what is spring like where you live? Or is it spring at all, especially for my international viewers? It is so funny to me that, like especially around Christmas time, like when it's Christmas for us and it's like cool and cold and in some places in America, it's like snowing. People are like, oh, I'm at the beach. It's so hot. So that's number one. Number two, I and I already asked this on Instagram. Um, tell me about colors that are like this that you love. Like what are your favorite lip colors? Or is there something that you, I don't care if it's drugstore or high end and you absolutely love it and you're like, no, you have to try it tell me in the comments below. And then I'm gonna put the rest of the questions in the description box, so answer whatever you wanna answer. I always love hearing from you guys. So yeah, share those two things with me at least. What's spring like for you where you live, if it's spring at all right now? And tell me about colors like this that you think I'll love. I will love you forever. You guys also can find me on Twitter. I'm super active on Twitter, Instagram. I have a Facebook. And if you guys have any questions, I always say this with the absolute best way is to find me on Twitter. I always have Twitter going. I mean, I even tweeted like the dates that I went on last week, literally. I asked him permission and then he took my phone and he tweeted while we were on a date. So I have fun on Twitter. Come have fun with me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon. Bye.